Introduction to sequences. Sequences, finite or infinite, appear around us all the time. This is a mathematical point of view to sequences. A sequence, a n, is a rule that assigns the number a n to every positive integer n. So a sequence is an ordered list of numbers a1, a2, a3, and so forth. Examples of sequences. We may write n within parentheses. This is a very simple sequence. It is a sequence of numbers 1, 2, 3, and so forth. So this sequence assigns to every positive integer n the value n itself. The sequence 2n minus 1 consists of odd numbers. If n equals 1, 2n minus 1 is 1. If n equals 2, 2n minus 1 is 3, and so forth. So the sequence 2n minus 1 is 1, 3, 5, 7, 9, and so forth. The sequence n minus 1 divided by n, n, 1, 2, 3, and so forth, is uh, 0, 1 half, 2 thirds, and so forth. This is an example of a sequence defined by a formula. The sequence 3 point, 3.1, 3.14, 3.141, 3.1415, and so forth, is not defined by a similar formula as the previous sequence. We will get to this sequence just in a moment. Barcodes are examples of finite sequences which are being used to label products. This can be automatically read by machines, which makes life very convenient at stores. A string of a piano vibrates at the frequency determined by its length. And this frequency is called the fundamental frequency of the string or the fundamental tone of the string. But together with its fundamental frequency, the string vibrates also at higher frequencies producing overtones. These are also known as harmonics. So when the string vibrates in all of its length, it also vibrates in half of its length, one third, one fourth, one fifth, and so forth. So this one half of the length of the string vibrating produces an overtone, one-third, another overtone, and so forth. So, sounds produced by vibrating bodies consist always of sequences of frequencies, the fundamental frequency together with the overtones. The length of a piano string already determines its fundamental frequency, its fundamental tone. Therefore, the length of the piano string is completely determined by the sequence of frequencies it produces, and we do not even need all of them. The fundamental tone is enough. The situation is much more complicated if the vibrating body is two or three dimensional. So one may ask the question, can you hear the shape of a drum? By this one means that, um, is it possible that the shape of the drum can be determined by knowing the sequence of frequencies that it produces when one hits the drum. And the answer is that in general, no, one cannot hear the shape of a drum. This is a, a deep mathematical problem. One defines the following operations on sequences if a n and b n are two sequences and k is a number, then the sum of the sequences, sequence a n plus sequence b n, is a sequence consisting of numbers a n plus b n. And the product of a number and a sequence is k times sequence a n, is the sequence consisting of numbers k times a n, rather natural definition. Likewise, the product of two sequences, sequence a n times sequence b n, is the sequence consisting of numbers a n times b n. Now let a n be the sequence 0, negative 2, 4, negative 6, and so forth, and b n the sequence negative 2, negative 4, 
negative 6 and so forth. The problem is find a formula for the terms a n and b n first and then compute the general term of the sequence c n which is the sequence a n plus the sequence b n. Now to find a formula for the terms a n and b n one should observe that there are many possible formula and we are looking for the simplest formula because of the sequence a n we only know the first four terms 0, negative 2, 4, negative 6 and of the sequence b n we know only the three first terms and clearly there are many different expressions for a n and for b n producing these four and three first terms listed here. But we look for a simple expression. It is difficult to define precisely what the simplest means when we are looking for the simplest formula for a n and for b n. But when one has found such a formula one knows that this is indeed the simplest formula. For the terms a n this sequence starts 0, negative 2, 4, negative 6, and so forth. So we observe that every second term seems to be negative, and the other terms are non-negative. So the terms for a n must consist the factor negative 1 to some power depending on n. And now the first term is 0, second term is negative 2, third term is 4, positive, F fourth term is negative 6, and so forth, we observe that this factor in the expression for a n must be of the type negative 1 to the power n plus 1. And then we observe that the terms are even numbers, so 0, 2, 4, 6, with varying signs. And these even numbers are produced by the expression 2 times n minus 1. When n equals 1, we get the number 0, which is the first number in this sequence a n. When n equals 2, 2 times 2 minus 1 is just 2, and negative 1 to the power 2 plus 1 is negative 1 to the power 3, which is negative 1. So, when n equals 2, this expression produces negative 2, and so on. Likewise, the numbers b and they are negative even numbers, so they are of the form minus 2 times n. So these are now the simplest expressions that define the sequences a n and b n. So we have that uh, a n is uh, 0, negative 2, 4, negative 6, b n minus 2, minus 4, minus 6, and so forth. And our task is to compute the general term cn of the sequence a n plus b n. But we already have found expressions for a n and for b n, then c n is simply the sum of these two expressions. So c n is negative 1 to the power n plus 1 times 2 times n minus 1 minus 2 times n. And this can be simplified. It is negative 2 if n is odd, because if n is odd, then n plus 1 is even, and negative 1 to the even power is just 1. So when n is odd, cn is 2 times n minus 2 minus 2 times n. And this, this simplifies to negative 2. And when n is even, n plus 1 is odd, and negative 1 to the power n plus 1 is just minus 1, and we get 2 minus 4 times n. To summarize, a sequence a n is an infinitely long list of numbers, a1, a2, a3, and so forth. It is a rule that assigns the number a n to every positive integer n. In certain applications, one may also deal with finite sequences, and those are finite lists of numbers, like barcodes. Tones are sequences. Tones that you are listening to right now, that is a sequence consisting of the fundamental tone and its overtones. So sequences are all over around us all the time.